so what is up guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking I'm truly grateful to all those who have been watching my videos thank you so so much and if you're new to this channel join the family by subscribing so we can go on this motorcycle vlogging journey together so guys in this video as you can see I'm on my way to the Honda dealership so a bit of background a few days ago I made a video of how Honda asked me to bring my bike in for a replacement of the ABS module as part of a, a recall of the 2019 version of my of the Honda CB500X and in this at this point in this video I was on my way to the Honda dealership to get it checked so after about 40 minutes of riding according to my GPS I was almost at the Honda dealership and uh, I didn't know what to expect but I was open to anything that was going to happen there I've never been part of a recall before so I was kind of excited to experience this for the first time so I'm just arriving now that building right there is where I'm going but the entrance is on the other side so I gotta go around and turn right and as you can see that's Honda right there it's dream wing I hope it doesn't take too long to do this uh, check Honda shares the same building with Triumph so this is the back side of the Triumph store as you can see right there so if you are in Shanghai and you want to look at Triumph bikes this is the place to come uh, as you can see those Triumph right there and they have some of their bikes here on display and then on the other side of this building is Honda Dreamway that is Just arriving now. Hello,你好。对,昨天打电话给我说,那个ABS要,就是要带过来看一下。什么问题?昨天你们有一个人打电话给我,他说ABS。哦,我知道。对。然后我刚刚看到我那个材料,我那个。这可能要保养要保养要医院还是今天好可以啊不知道吗时间到了吗时间我开了我记得你刚刚刚来我上次新市就还忘在我们这里保养什么时间到了吗时间我开了我记得你刚刚刚来我上次新市就还忘在我们
I want to take it for a spin and see how different it is from the original one. But just sitting on it doesn't feel any different. I'm not sure if I'm tall, I'm used to my taller windshield or what, but this one looks lower. Maybe it's just to my eyes. I'm used to the new windshield. But looking around, everything looks exactly the same. And once again, the versions that come to the Chinese market, no pass light, no hazard light. And I think some, that's something that I'm really pissed about. I don't understand why a 500cc motorcycle wouldn't have hazard light. It's, it's a bit messed up, to be honest. But other than that, Oh, and something different I see is the reservoir for the brake fluid. The design is a little bit bigger and different from the one on the previous versions. Definitely because it's twin disc now in front, you need a bigger uh, reservoir. And you can see the front Fox shower, not adjustable anymore. So one there, one there not adjustable anymore but from other reviews it seems to not be a problem and I'll need to write it to see how it feels but the instrument cluster is mostly the same no difference there and I was hoping that by now they would have maybe modified and made this bar bigger to make it easy to mount phones and GPS holders but it looks like they're still holding on I don't know about the color scheme. What do you think? Drop a comment if you like this better than the previous ones. But I, I would say I like them both. I like both this color scheme and the previous one. I think the black contrasts make it look really nice. But I'm not sure. You decide. So I think the major change that everyone's talking about is the front forks and double discs double braid discs ABS on this side I don't know how it behaves I'll need to ride this bike to be able to compare it to my current 2019 version and I think the headlight has a slightly different structure to the previous ones anyone who has pre 2022 model or any model that predates this update would be able to tell the difference I can see it clearly so yeah that's um, I think the new forks upside down forks and the twin disc for the brake is what's making the difference here aesthetically but I think as time goes by I'll get a chance someday to ride it so I can tell um, how this bike rides. So yeah, that's it for now. Let's go and see what's happening with the ABS thing. Yeah guys, it's still ongoing. So I arrived here around 2 and if I look at my time now, it's just past 3, it's 3.10 and work is still ongoing so it seems like a major change and I saw um, some boxes around so it looks like they're changing the whole ABS uh, module so let's keep waiting better to be safe than sorry They're busy with my bike up there. I seem to be lucky because when I arrived, I was the only one. So my bike went in straight away. I didn't have to queue. And when I arrived, I took out the documentation for the bike and I realized that uh, the time they indicated for me to service the bike is up. I was always aware that the time was up, but I didn't want to do the service now because Honda recommends uh, 12,000 kilometers. Um, and I was hoping to go to about 10,000, but they recommended 8,000. I think, I don't know, 
probably depends on the oils they're using. Different regions have different oils that are used depending on the weather and a few other factors. They're using Honda oil, G2, G3, something like that. I don't know which one specifically they put in here. Uh, but yeah, since it's a Honda dealership, I don't have to nose around too much because they know what they're doing better than you do. If I'm taking it to a roadside mechanic, then I might want to look into it, but I'm not scared to depend on them to do the right thing. So yeah, I was like, well, if I'm here for the ABS thing, let me just do the, um, the service as well. I think it's just going to be um, oil change and oil filter. And I don't know what else they'll do. We'll see what when, when the bill comes out. So yeah, uh, I might as well just do everything before I leave. So I'm still waiting and they're doing their thing in the background and um, we'll see how it goes. for about four hours the work was finally done and I was at this point ready to head home uh, but unfortunately it had rained a little bit before but at this point it had subsided so I thought I could ride through it so they've changed the oil and the filter um, so I'm good to go for another uh, 8 to 10,000 kilometers or so hopefully so I'm gonna set off now for home and I'm gonna take you on this journey with me so I'm just leaving Honda now and it's starting to rain. Just when I was leaving the dealership, the rain started coming down again really hard. So I decided I was going to wait, go back there and wait because I didn't have my riding gear because it's summer and it's so hot outside. So I didn't want to get too uncomfortable, too wet and uncomfortable on the ride. So I decided to go back there and wait till the rain subsided before I set off again. So that's exactly what I did. I went in there and waited for a while. <laughs> So after about 15 minutes, the rain finally subsided enough for me to be able to ride home. So I put on my gloves and then I set off finally for, for home. how when I came in this afternoon it was so hot and it started raining suddenly very heavily it's kind of crazy but yeah it all feels good new brake fluid new ABS module I couldn't be happier so I'm just gonna head home ready for a few days see if everything is all right but it's been tested and there shouldn't be any problem so I'm happy about that But it took a scary long time to finish this work guys. I got in here at 2 and the work was finished at 6. I think it took this long because they were changing the ABS module 
and changing all the fluids plus the servicing that I asked them to do so I'm guessing that's why it took so long but still four hours is uh, it's quite a stretch considering the fact that when I came my bike went in straight onto the onto the lift for the servicing to be done because there weren't many many motorcycles to be to be serviced so but at the end of the day a job well done is what's important so I'm really really happy about it I'll just ride it for a few days to see if everything is all right and then I guess I'm good to go so I've just tried the ABS luckily it's raining I've just tried the ABS on not so fast speed and it works really well so I'm guessing there are no problems as long as there are no leaks or anything like that I should be good so thank you for coming along if this is your first time seeing me do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and I've got many other videos online so you can uh, take a look at my channel and uh, enjoy the videos so once again thank you so much for watching so I see you in the next video guys as always Right legal, right safe, and see you in the next one.